While that haze in North America comes as scientists officially confirm that an El Nino weather event has begun. Californians need to always be ready for potential flooding and also some of the global impacts El Nino is already delivering. Climate change is real and Mother Nature is about to give us the biggest wake-up call yet in 2024. Next year, the world is expected to experience a devastating phenomenon that could cause untold destruction and displace countless people around the globe. Let's talk about this terrifying event and how it could change the world forever. In 2024, the world is anticipated to face a significant challenge originating from the Pacific Ocean. A disruptive force known as El Nino is resurfacing and is expected to disrupt the usual seasonal patterns, impacting life in unexpected ways. El Nino is a climatic phenomenon characterized by the abnormal warming of surface waters in the eastern tropical Pacific Ocean. It occurs every two to seven years, typically lasting about a year. Its effects extend globally, leading to severe weather events such as intense storms in certain regions and prolonged droughts in others. This year has already seen one of the hottest years in recent history and 2024 is predicted to be even hotter due to the influence of this phenomenon. It's crucial to note that El Nino is not a recent occurrence. It has happened many times before, causing extreme weather patterns around the globe. One of the most notable El Nino events took place from 1789 to 1793, often referred to as the Great El Nino. This event brought about significant changes in global weather patterns and had a profound impact on human history. During the Great El Nino, India experienced excessive rainfall and flooding, leading to a cholera epidemic that spread worldwide. In Peru and Ecuador, heavy rains and floods caused considerable damage to people and property. Moving into the 20th century, the El Nino event from 1982 to 1983 stood out as one of the most powerful of that century, resulting in catastrophic weather-related disasters worldwide. There were fierce storms along the western coast of South America, severe drought in the Western Pacific, and devastating bushfires in Australia. Similarly, the El Nino event from 1997 to 1998 was highly destructive, causing widespread flooding and landslides in California, fires in Indonesia, and adverse weather conditions in many other places globally. The most recent El Nino event occurred in 2016, bringing dry conditions to Venezuela, Australia, and some Pacific islands, along with significant flooding in other regions. El Nino, named the boy child in Spanish, earned its title because South American fishermen often observed its occurrence around Christmas time. Every two to seven years, the equatorial Pacific Ocean warms up by as much as three Celsius triggering a chain reaction of effects that is felt around the world. This phenomenon is a major contributor to year-to-year -year variations in weather patterns during the event. El Nino is a natural event with a significant impact on the Earth's climate system. During this event, the ocean transfers additional heat and moisture to the atmosphere as El Nino pushes warm water eastward in the Pacific Ocean. It leads to drier, and warmer conditions in the northern part of the United States, along with intense rainfall and flooding in the US Gulf Coast and Southeast. In Europe, El Nino can bring colder and drier winters to the north and wetter winters to the south. In 2024, El Nino is anticipated to alter the circulation of air in the atmosphere, influencing interactions between tropical and extratropical weather systems. This includes the paths of tropical winds, monsoons, and even polar vortices. The outcome is expected to be a rapid increase in the average global surface temperature. A strong El Nino has the potential to contribute up to 0.2 degrees Celsius to the Earth's average temperature. This increase could bring us closer to a critical threshold of 1.5 degrees Celsius in global warming. If this occurs, 
we can anticipate more severe heat waves, prolonged hot seasons, and intensified storms. Given that our planet has already warmed by approximately 1.2 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial times, and El Niño introduces additional heat into the atmosphere, it's highly likely that the Earth's temperature will temporarily surpass the 1.5 degree limit following the peak of the 2024 El Niño. Scientists currently have uncertainties about how this phenomenon will behave in the future, but they anticipate that climate change will amplify its effects in different parts of the world. However, it remains unclear whether climate change is actively influencing the El Niño phenomenon at present. The current trend indicates that El Niño is strengthening, raising the likelihood of a new record for global temperatures in 2024. Scientists also note a 1 in 4 chance that this event could surpass 2 degrees Celsius at its peak, which would classify it as a Super El Niño. The impact of the onset of El Niño may take a few months to manifest globally. As the Earth warms up, certain regions experience more rapid warming than others. Australia, for example, is undergoing hotter and drier conditions, marked by intensified droughts and wildfires. The country is now 1.4 degrees Celsius, warmer than in the early 20th century and each year witnesses a growing portion of the continent affected by wildfires due to a dry trend linked to climate change. During the upcoming El Niño event, scientists anticipate less rainfall, higher temperatures and an increased risk of wildfires, particularly during the winter and spring in the Southern Hemisphere. Australia, being particularly susceptible to the effects of El Niño, faces heightened vulnerability due to the compounding impact of climate change. During El Niño events, Colombia faces a high risk, as the decrease in rainfall and the rise in temperature have been linked to outbreaks of diseases spread by insects such as malaria and dung fever. The elevated temperatures contribute to increased mosquito breeding and biting. In regions like the Amazon rainforest, El Niño leads to drying conditions and slower plant growth, resulting in less carbon dioxide being absorbed from the air. Similar effects are observed in tropical forests in Africa, India and Australia. In India, monsoons and rains in southern Africa can be impacted, potentially deviating from expected patterns while some areas like East Africa and the southern United States may experience more rain and flooding during El Niño. Other regions farther away, such as the Northern Hemisphere, including Spain and the eastern coast of the United States, may undergo different weather conditions. Spain might experience summer-like weather onwards, while the eastern United States could become drier in the subsequent winters and spring. Notably, Northern Europe might witness drier and colder winters. Hey Spacers, before you start packing up to move, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos on the destructive power of Mother Nature. And now, more of El Nino. In addition to its impact on weather patterns, El Niño poses a threat to marine life along the Pacific coast. Typically, a process called upwelling brings cold, nutrient-rich water up from the deep ocean. However, during El Niño, this process is slowed down or halted. Consequently, there are fewer tiny plants in the water, affecting the food supply for some fish. Additionally, warmer water during El Niño can harm coral reefs, making them more susceptible to starvation. According to a recent study, the upcoming El Niño event could result in global economic losses amounting to $3 trillion. Extreme weather associated with the event can adversely affect agriculture and manufacturing and contribute to the spread of diseases, all of which can lower a country's economic growth. The strong El Niño event from 1997 to 1998 
incurred a cost of over $5 trillion and resulted in approximately 23,000 deaths from storms and floods. In response, governments and countries vulnerable to El Niño are taking steps to prepare for its impacts. Peru, for instance, has allocated $1 billion to address El Niño and climate change. The Philippines, which frequently faces cyclones, has established a specialized government team to handle anticipated problems. While El Niño is a natural climate pattern beyond our control, its effects on various events depend on how well countries can adapt to them. Improved forecasting plays a crucial role providing affected regions with more time to prepare. For instance, they can stock up on essential crops. Ongoing research on El Niño dynamics and the development of forecasting models can aid governments and farmers in mitigating the impacts of these events, showcasing the importance of proactive measures in the face of natural climate patterns. What do you think, spacers? Do you think the world is ready to face a climate disaster next year? Have governments taken enough preventative measures to mitigate the effects of an event like El Niño? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.